Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the new UNO cartridge that I received recently. This cartridge was developed by Robin Edwards from the UK, also known as Electro Train on Atari Age. Robin also developed the Ultimate SD cartridge that I showed on a previous video. The UNO cartridge is uh, built or based on the STM flash microcontroller and it was his attempt to make a more slim and uh, cheaper card to produce. In fact, the UNO cartridge cost almost half the price as the Ultimate cartridge. The UNO cartridge comes with a, a nice manual, instruction manual that has that shows all the cartridge uh, main features all the cartridge formats uh, that the cartridge can support and uh, how you can use the cartridge and also how you can uh, upgrade the cartridge to a newer for to a newer firmware when this will be uh, developed the cartridge itself comes with uh, and it can come or you can buy it with a 3D printed cartridge shell that will allow you to plug this cartridge to the Atari XL computer and the cartridge metal window uh, slot will not uh, damage or sh make any short on the PCB. The cartridge has a switch on the front to reset and a slot for a micro seam and this is where I, you take the micro seam and plug it into your PC using a micro seam adapter, micro seam to USB. You copy your files in, into and then insert the micro seam into the cartridge uh, slot and you can plug it in inside the Atari computer. As uh, opposed to the Ultimate cartridge, the Uno cartridge only support ROM images and file up to 128K. Uh, the ultimate cartridge can go up to 1 megabyte, uh, but it costs more expensive. Uh, up to 128K, you can actually load all the 8 and 16K cartridges games, uh, files, um, XE game cartridges, Atari Max ro uh, 1 megabyte ROM images, and you can simply uh, copy them and uh, let the ultimate um, execute them. So if you're going to start and go into the 8 or 16K uh, ROM images, this is the uh, Atari uh, cartridges ROMs. You can just select and uh, let's load the game um, PCS Quest, push enter. And that's actually the Una cartridge emulate the BCS Quest a 16K uh, ROM cartridge and you can just go in and start and play uh, the game. If you want to go back to the menu just push the reset button and then push reset it will go take you back to the main menu. You can go and load uh, some of the um, Atari Max cartridges that can be downloaded from the Atari Max forum um, you can play them on the uh, UNO cartridge. You can also load XE game cartridges. This is an Airball 128K cartridge, ROM image. You can play it on the Atari UNO cart. Okay, push the reset. You can also load some software cartridges like the Action or Basic XL or Basic C or Max 65. OSS cartridges are also being uh, supported by the Uno card. So this is Action loaded loading from the Uno cartridge. You can also load the switchable XE game cartridges. This is a modified XE game cartridge that can support the switch off feature and you can load uh, the Tubo Basic ROM or uh, 
Spy vs. Spy game or anything that are uh, being ported into the XE game cartridge. So the menu that we see here was written by Jonathan Halliday from UK, also known as the Flash Jazz Cat on Atari Age. It's a very nice intuitive uh, menu and it also have the find feature. So if I'm going to look for um, a cartridge that's called basketball, it will find that I have uh, two ROM images that are named basketball, one from the Atari and one from Real Sport. And just push enter, it will go and play the game. So it have a nice search feature, which is very nice when you have lots of files on your uh, SD. The menu can also load XCX file, executable files. So if you have a file, it's up to 128K, you can simply copy it into a folder and push enter and it will execute the file and load the game uh, immediately. Let's go back to the menu. And the last feature is the ability to load ATR files. Again, ATR files up to 128K. The Uno cartridge can uh, execute. Now, the approach to execute ATR files on the Uno card is to do what is called OES mod. So, what the cartridge does, it, it copies an alternative. Atari OS, and in this case, I'm using a file called Uno OS that is copied to the root folder of the flash of the micro SD card. And this uh, operating system, this OS, modified the disk loading routines that instead of loading from a real disk, from a real floppy, it would load from the um, ATR file that is stored on the micro SD. Now this approach is a very universal approach that it means that uh, if the ATR files has its own disk loading routines then the file will still look for the floppy drive, for the, for the actual floppy drive but if the software using the standard operating system routines then the, um, the software will simply um, load the file or the uh, uh, software from the flashcard. So let's, let's do some demonstrations. Let's try, I've copied here some of the Infocom game Zork and copied them into this folder. So I'm going to start with Zork 1. And Zork 1 loads from the Uno card, this means that the Zork game is looking for the standard Atari um, disk loading routine from the operating system, and those are being modified by Uno card, so they will load from the flash card. Now, the alternative operating system, the the modified OS, is actually sitting behind the 16K under the Atari Excel OS, so this feature to, to load ATR will only be possible on, in the, on the Atari Excel and XE models. It will not be able to do it on the old 800 computers because those do not have a 16K behind the operating system. Let's try to load something else. Let's go to another ATR. Let's go to another adventure game. This one is a graphical adventure game called Asylum. And you can play the game from the uh, cartridge, save the game to the cartridge, actually to save them to the ATR on the cartridge itself. Let's try something else. Let's try MyDOS. So again, MyDOS, those are the files on the ATR that is stored on the micro uh, SD card. And MyDOS 
and the other two previous feature uh, the uh, software that I showed uses the standard operating uh, system disk loading routines and those have been modified in the file in, in the in the cartridge and stored behind the 16k of the Atari XLXE. The OS ROM that is being used here is the OS ROM that uh, is used uh, in the Altera emulator being uh, written by every Lee from the US also known as Faron on the Atari H site and those uh, ROMs has been taken here, copied to the root and be, been used to copy it itself behind the Atari XL operating system to emulate the disk routine from cartridge. If I'm going to try and load another ATR, this is another uh, demo called the never ending story, this is another ATR file. So this software um, never ending story starts to load from the cartridge but during the loading process it's trying to read from disk that means that the software is using its own disk loading routine it doesn't call the operating system to load the next stage or after the introduction and that's why uh, the game uh, wouldn't would not load let's try something else Let's try um, loading Sands of Egypt, another adventure game. Yeah, so the Sands of Egypt ATR will load because it's uh, using the standard Atari um, SIO routine uh, from the call, that are being called from the OS. So that's, uh, that's basically it. This is the Uno cartridge. It can load... Um, Cartridges, ROM images up to 128K. It can load executable files and it can also load ATR files. And most of the ATR files will work from this cartridge. It also have a nice search feature that will search for a game through the uh, entire directories. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, have fun playing with your Atari.